school tutorial how to use school.com for communities and online courses hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be breaking down everything you need to know about school so school is a online creative platform that enables you to build your own courses to build your own communities and these types of communities are amazing to build especially if you're looking to expand other people's skill sets if you are teaching something if you have skills in any niche there might be any niche you might be good at stretching you might be good at knitting you might be good at crocheting whatever is your skill you can easily endow that to other people you can build some free courses that can help you in you know building some recognition about your skills and then you can also expand that onto a paid course so let's get into building your own community on school to get started simply head on over to school.com and click on sign up on the top right once you do that, you are going to put in your first name, last name, and then use a suitable password for your account. Then just click on sign up on the bottom. Once you do that, you will get a verification code in your mail. So you just want to open that up over here and just confirm your verification code. I'm just going to copy our verification code and paste it over here and then just click on next. Now, once you have completed that, you can get started with completing your own profile because if you don't have your own profile built properly, it's going to not give a very trustable or trustworthy image to the particular niche that you are targeting. So you want to upload your own image. It might be any image of you. It could be really anything. So you want to upload your own image and then add a bio. So I'm just going to click on over here. I'm just going to be using this image over here and then I'm just going to add a simple bio. Okay, it's Jane. I'm a professional retail advisor and I'm to teach you all you need to know. So whatever your bio is, obviously I like to keep it a bit in you know a bit short and concise where it's more so illustrative of who you are. So you can build a few pointers on the things that you are skilled in like this and then just add those specific niches that you are good at or skill sets that you would be teaching here. Then just click on complete over here and this will build your profile on school. So once you've built your profile, you will see on the top right, you have your profile information and you're going to see if you are a member of any community and then you can start creating your own. Now, if you go into the homepage of school, you will see you have different niches over here. So you can choose any niche that you want and choose to join a community or join a platform. Now, joining a community can help you in understanding how courses should be built, what you know comprises a of a successful course in community in these kinds of community setups but it's very simple as well so i'll show you guys how you can build your own community simply click on create your own on the top and then choose a community group name so let's say i want to build my group name to be shopify 101 and then you are going to input your basic information and then you can get started with your free trial. Now, a lot of people might ask, why do I need my card info? Well, your card info is going to be used after the free trial. They just need to verify that you are an actual person. So you get 14 days of a free trial on the school.com application. And then after that, you'll be charged $99 per month, which is a pretty standard fee. You're going to find this kind of fee on any course platform where you're building courses. So I'll just put in my information and I'll get back to you guys in one second. So now I have just completed my payment on school and once you have done that you will be led to your community building platform. Now in your community building platform you will see a community section then you have a few different tabs where you can navigate through. So you have a section called classroom where you can enter your course information and whatever kind of courses you are offering you can add their content. Then you also have a calendar members leaderboards and an about section now in our community let's say this is shopify 101 the community will have all of the people together within the particular course or within any courses that fall under the same community so you can offer different 
courses depending on skill level depending on you know targets goals that people might have and you can offer different courses and the same community let's go into the classroom section and start building a course now to build a course the first thing i'm going to do is add a name i'll call this shopify 101 and add a description like this now, after that, you are going to choose who can have access to this course. So only some members have access, members on a certain level. Let's say that I want this to be for members on the second level of my community. Now, you can build these uh, courses for different levels, as well as only some members where you can choose a paywall. And then after they have paid, you can choose to provide them with access. Now, after that, you are going to choose a representative image. So I'm just going to choose this as a representative image for our course. And we're just going to let this be uploaded to proceed into the next step of building our course. So once we've done that, I'm just going to click on add over here. And once I click on add, our course will be created. Now, as you guys can see, the course has been created. It's called Shopify 101. It's the same as our community name. Now, within our particular course, I can set up different modules and chapters. So this is a new module over here, and I can start by editing this module. So this will be intro, and then I can add a video as well as add some descriptions, add some you know basic information about what this is this is totally up to you obviously for most classes or most courses you are going to be using videos so you can add those modules and this is just one module and to add another module just click on the new set on the top left and then you can click on add module and set this will add a new module in the same set now you can segregate different bits of information by building different sets this is called new sets and i'll edit this over here i'll call this intro and this will be the introductory set of videos. Then I can build another set by clicking on Shopify 101 on the top right. And then I will click on add set over here. And then let's say this is going to be marketing with ads like this. And then all the content within the set would be related to marketing with ads. This helps in categorization of the information and make sure that people are able to focus on the parts that they find the most important. Now, after you've added your course content, you would be able to find a calendar section. Now, in your calendar section on the top right, you have a few different options. So you can add events within your community. This can help in building a bond between the members as well as encourage learning. Helps in also keeping you in loop about where your community members are at in terms of their classrooms. And then you can just click on add event over here and choose how you're going to host the event. So I hope this video helped you guys in getting started with school it's pretty easy and simple and if this video did help you make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave those in the comment box down below and if there's anything i missed out on on school let me know in the comment section as well and i will catch you guys in the next video